Apart from admiring and enjoying the artworks on the walls in your house, you also want to talk about them and discuss their meaning and significance to your family and friends in an intelligent and informed way. And I think that is one of the main reasons why you should think of building up your own art uh, book library. Art books not only tell us about uh, the artists, where they studied, uh, where uh, they exhibited, how their style has changed, and where they fit in, into the general art history of uh, the country. They also give you a sense of the stature of a particular artist. Uh, I think the best way to start that would be to look at a general reference book such as Esme Berman's Art and Artists of South Africa. It is still a classic and there are no fewer than two lots containing that particular book. Incidentally, we have uh, no fewer than 92 lots uh, from the collection of a book designer on auction and those are some of uh, the lots where you can start. They contain not only Esme Berman but also a couple of general monographs on South African artists. Now uh, these give you a sense of where they fit into the picking order. You will also find on this particular uh, session books grouped together under the name of an artist such as William Kentridge if you like his art you can buy no fewer than 11 books uh, in that particular lot. I think one of the most important lots in this whole session would be the books on David Goldblatt. David Goldblatt, as you well know, died uh, last year and he is enjoying, his art is enjoying international fame and fortune right at the moment. There's also a general section on South African uh, uh, photographers uh, if you are interested in that. You will also see that this particular uh, book designer was fond of collecting in depth and so don't be surprised if there are 19 books for instance on Francis Bacon in, uh, in, this, uh, uh, in, uh, in, in that particular lot or on Lucien Freud. I think the thing is that uh, we should keep in mind that uh, he was first and foremost a book designer and so it is the physical object of a book that fascinated him. He drew inspiration from that, he looked at uh, their format, he looked at the printing, uh, he looked at the size, uh, he looked at uh, the entry pages, at the back uh, end pages and the likes. Uh, you will of course get an in-depth analysis in those, for instance, 19 books on Francis Bacon about different angles that art historians, art critics and art writers took in interpreting his work, so it is an ideal opportunity to look at that. Uh, you get general books on art history, locally and internationally. There are lots dealing with African art, with Middle Eastern and uh, 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 Far Eastern art. Um, and there are also uh, specific art movements such as surrealism uh, that, you can, uh, that you can acquire. Apart from the art uh, uh, interest, uh, the book dealer was also very interested in sculpture. He collected a number of books on Richard Serra, for instance, and Antti Caro, um, and, uh, and many more. And also there are a number of books on uh, architecture. Uh, and it is very evident uh, which architects, uh, contemporary architects he favoured. Frank Gehry, I think, top of the list. You also have Tando Ando, a Japanese uh, architect, and uh, Frank Lloyd Wright and Renzo Piano.